In this video, I kind of want to discuss the difference between dy dx and also d over dx. Because when dealing with derivatives, typically you'll see these two things. And you might be wondering what to do when you see them. Well, let's say that y is equal to x cubed plus 4x. What does it mean when you see dy dx in a problem like this? And sometimes you'll see this d of dx and then x cubed plus 4x squared. So what's the difference? Well, here's the way I like to think about it. dy dx kind of tell me what it is. d over dx tells me what to do. d over dx expresses a command. It's basically saying, hey, find the derivative of whatever is inside of here with respect to x. dy over dx tells you, hey, this is the derivative of some function, in this case, y. The derivative of y with respect to x is 3x squared plus 8x. And in this case, this expression tells us to differentiate this expression, which will be the same thing, 3x squared plus 8x. So hopefully that kind of help you to see the difference between the two. So d over dx tells you what to do. It tells you to differentiate the function inside the brackets with respect to x. dy dx simply makes a statement. It tells you that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to whatever you see here. Now let's see if we can put this together. dy over dx is equivalent to saying take the derivative of y with respect to x. And we could replace y with this expression. y is x cubed plus 4x squared. Using the power rule, this is going to give us 3x squared plus 8x, which, as we can see, that's equal to dy over dx. So hopefully that connected everything together when you uh, see these two things. Now. If we want to find the derivative of x cubed with respect to x, we know it's 3x squared. But what if we want to find the derivative of, let's say, y cubed with respect to x? What's the answer? Well, using the power rule, it's going to be 3y squared. But notice that these variables do not match. So we're going to have something else. It's going to be 3y squared times dy over dx. Typically, you'll see problems like this when dealing with something called implicit differentiation. Now, what if we want to differentiate, let's say, x to the fifth power with respect to some variable s? This would be 5x to the fourth times dx ds. So that's the derivative of x with respect to s. Now, sometimes when dealing with related rates problems, you'll see d over dt. So you're differentiating with respect to time. So you could differentiate with respect to many things. You could differentiate with respect to x, with respect to some other variable s, or with respect to t. So let's say if we want to differentiate x to the fourth power plus y cubed with respect to time. It's going to be 4x cubed plus 3y squared. Actually, I take that back. It's 4x cubed times dx dt, and then plus 3y squared times dy dt. So dx dt is the derivative of x with respect to time. dy dt is the derivative of y with respect to time. So I don't know if you've covered related rates yet. But you'll see that a lot when dealing with that topic. OK, time for a pop quiz. Let's see if you been paying attention. Let's say that r is a function of x and t, and that r is equal to x cubed plus t to the fifth power. Go ahead and find dr over dy. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So what we're doing is we're going to take the derivative of r 
with respect to y. So that's what we're going to do in order to find this thing. And so we're going to replace r with what it equals. So right now, think about what this is telling us to do. This is saying differentiate this expression with respect to y. The derivative of x cubed with respect to y is 3x squared times d dx over dy. And the derivative of t to the fifth power with respect to y is 5t to the fourth power times dt over dy. So that's our answer. So thus, we could say that dr over dy is equal to 3x squared dx over dy plus 5t to the fourth times dt over dy. So this tells us what to do. This tells us what the answer is. So hopefully you can see the difference between these two expressions. And that's basically it for this video. I'm out. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. Thanks again for watching.